Alright guys, so we are continue our lesson or our syllabus uh, by using the space analysis here. So you can see on my screen, okay, from the previous we already done uh, assembly by using uh, constraint, uh, coincident constraint, okay, uh, and then the contact constraint, offset constraint. Okay, sorry, but previously I forget to mention for the fixed component. Okay, so for this assembly, the fixed component, we put the frame as a fixed component. Okay, so once we put all the constraint, okay, you can see into your product tree. So under this one, we have a constraint here. So you can see uh, what you have done uh, into your assembly. Eh? Okay, so let's continue into our space analysis. So what is the importance of the space analysis? Uh, this is important for us to check uh, whether they have any uh, good contact okay another one is a uh, what we call it a clash okay and then the offset how much and so on so on so first of all we use this one okay clash to check the clash contact so you can see here the features come out the type one contact plus clash Okay, clearance contact clash so you can try for the first one I will show you the clearance plus contact plus clash okay so you choose this type and then uh, we highlight this at our assembly and then we click uh, apply okay so it will provide the check clash and also the preview here okay okay I try to make it smaller this one make it smaller Alright, so for the boat, you can see here the contact is okay, the value is zero. Okay, another boat, another boat and nut. Okay, the contact is okay. Boat with the frame. Okay, this one, the preview uh, window, you can zoom in and then zoom out. Okay, to see any obstruction or any clash. Okay, the next one is a wheel with the frame. Okay, you see here highlighted the value is 4 since they have uh, 4 offset of 4mm 4 mm gap that we has set up earlier. Okay, you can see 4mm. Okay, the next one is nut. Okay, nut with the frame. Okay, and then the last one. Okay, I hi highlight this one. Slot square VD frame eh? so there is some clash okay the check clash mentioned is a clash not a contact okay so we can see in the detail what what is the clash here eh? all right so you see 4.7 okay all right so how we want to check in the detail okay this one we click okay so we use this one eh, the sectioning method sectioning method okay okay sectioning method okay they open another window the small window here okay so this one positioning okay the we can choose the plane eh, plane x plane y okay this one play y so this one plane z Okay, so for this purpose, we want to check along y axis lah. Okay, along y axis because y. Okay, we want to check the clash here. Eh? Clash here. Right, the the preview window is missing right now. So what if you if we want to call it back, you can go to window. Okay, and then you tile vertically or horizontally according to your preference. For me, I tile vertically. Okay. So from here, this uh, yellow plane is a sectioning plane. Sectioning, it's basically it cutting your assembly. Eh? So you can move around. This one in the, since I choose the Y axis, okay, it will move in and out into the Y direction okay so i try to move into the center one okay 
so this one we can see all right so here we can see the clash what is happening the clash here eh? okay so for the result okay i can this one okay i can highlight this one the clash clash detection so it will be highlighted in the red color Alright, so if you want to do a measurement how much the clash here, you can off the color sectioning field. Okay, sectioning field you need to off. Alright, alright. Okay, and then what is we have here? Nothing for this one. Alright, so for the positioning, I try to explain. Let's say uh, if you want to use geometrical target. Eh? Uh, Okay, vertical target. Okay, so this one you can choose any plane. Eh? Actually, not only depend on the x y z. If you want to choose any plane, you can use a geometrical target. Okay, I cancel this one. Okay, I choose a uh, sectioning again. Okay, let's say positioning. I want to choose geometrical target. So geometrical target. Let's say I want to sectioning using this uh, angle angle of this bolt okay so it will start cutting by the angle eh? not by the plane of x y and z all right so it's this one is example all right I, I try to call the preview window vertically so if i move in move out it will uh, sectioning by angle eh? as you can see here alright ok let's see we go back to our sectioning to check the clash detection just now positioning uh, y axis and then I call my preview window vertically right so I move in move out and then want to check this clash eh? want to check result ok clash detection here the rest is okay no problem and then i off the sectioning field okay i put okay and then i want to measure eh, how much the distance or how much the clash so from here to here okay so it's almost 5 mm so as i mentioned previously 4.6 something so it match so if you want to make it more accurate you can change the measurement between a picking point to picking point okay what i'm going to do is try to pick this point uh, roughly into this point so what i can get this one eh? 4.9 something like this all right okay so this one okay all right this one close all right so you can see the sectioning here what you have done the sectioning here okay interference sectioning into your application okay we already cover all our syllabus for the assembly so later on we will move uh, into our piston shaft and so on so on okay we try to assemble uh, the piston all together, alright? See you. Thanks.